Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech. Today I'm going to install Magic Lantern on my Canon 500D. So for those of you who don't know, Magic Lantern is basically an open source firmware, a custom made firmware, that adds some pretty cool features to your Canon uh, DSLR camera. Now in my case, my 500D doesn't have many options uh, while recording video. I cannot uh, control ISO, I cannot control pretty most of the stuff that you would prefer to control yourself on a video camera. Uh, so uh, basically what you need to do is prepare uh, all the needed files on your SD, which I already did. Uh, obviously you need to enter the SD card into your camera. And then what we are going to do is basically uh, turn to manual mode. Okay, so now that we're in manual mode, we can go ahead and update the firmware. So we'll click on menu and we shall go to, as you can see, I have firmware version 1.1.1. .1 we'll click on that and then OK in order to update. Now the update process should start. And as you can see, it does Magic Lantern install, it does some backup. Ooh, I never seen that button actually lighting up. Please restart your camera, that's great. Blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and restart the camera. Basically, you turn that off. And then back on again. Okay, um, so yeah, I can tell already that uh, it's not the original firmware, since if you look closely, you can see the lens type that I'm using. Uh, this one is today's date. What else we got? The version. And how much uh, gigs uh, do I have free? That's uh, already cool. Oh yeah, and the, the hour. That's not in the original firmware. Now, uh, I want to do something quickly. Uh, let's try to go to the video mode. Now, I have no idea how to use it. I think you are supposed to... Oh, so yeah, uh, all those things that you see, the histogram, all those... Everything, pretty much. And I think... No, I'm not sure how do I control everything. For example, ISO, etc. Uh, I think if I go to the sensor to block the sensor, no, maybe the display button, no, but now those are all the regulars. Um, oops. So now that I played around a little, I found how to get to the, let's say, secret menu. You need to press the delete button. And basically, at first, you'll need to press set after the delete button and you'll have your secret menu. So let me try to focus on that. Well, it doesn't really focus that well, but as you can see, there are lots of cool features. Lots and lots and lots and lots of them. You can even set some audio settings. I'm not really sure, but maybe I'll be able to plug in some microphone into the uh, actually remote place because it's the same uh, entrance. But we'll see about that. And you can play with the ISO here, uh, with overlays, with movie settings. Finally, some movie settings. That's what I need. Uh, you can go to movie tweaks and even use some movie tweaks here. I have no idea how, sh how actually do I get back, yeah, like this. Uh, camera settings, focus, many, many cool features. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically, that's pretty much it for today. As always, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and as always, subscribe for the video, and don't forget to mark the V when you subscribe to receive future video updates. That's it, guys. See you in the next one. So here are three shortcuts on your keyboard that you can use in order to pause play the video, 
forward 10 seconds or go back 10 seconds.